New at 10, birth control for rats. An Arizona company has come up with a new solution to stopping one of the Valley's most invasive problems, roof rats. If you have citrus trees on your property, you probably know all about them. <laughs> Team 12's Jonathan McCall spent the day talking to the experts and has more on how it works. It's a love potion for rats. Think of it as a rat birth control. But it now has the hearts of Arizonans swooning. And then eventually we didn't have any more rats or rodents. What began as a menopause study by researchers at the University of Arizona has now blossomed into contrapest. A lot of what you see out there on the market to control rats is conventional methods. In 2016, Arizona-based Senestech developed Contrapest, which aims at stopping rodents from rapidly producing by as much as 90%. But unless they can get all the rats, you're always going to have those survivors th that will reproduce. The product receiving plenty of love from the Environmental Protection Agency, which declared Contrapest not harmful to other animals or humans. An important aspect for Wild Horse Ranch founder Kim Mayer. Poison's just, it's just awful for the ecosystem, awful for the animals. Mayor, one of the many Arizonans who's had to deal with rats, has used this product since 2017. You know, I know there's a birth control for horses. Is there something out there for rodents? So here's how it works. The liquid is put into a container, which is then placed inside of this so-called rodent bar, where those rats can come to drink up over and over again. Typically, within about 15 days, the rats are completely infertile. There's also an elevated station available for roof rats who wreak havoc and cause damage in homes in elevated areas. Ray says rats are typically habitual and will go wherever they can find food sources and encourages homeowners not to make it easy for them. So you're less likely to know you have a roof rat problem until it becomes a big problem. The product now being used in cities all across America. Mayor, though, now hoping that fed up homeowners will encourage these pests to drink up. In Phoenix, Jonathan McCall, 12 News.